Could you give us a, uh, what impressed you most about uh, such a balanced offensive performance as this, and, and particularly, uh, what did you see from Tari and Prince tonight? 40 assists, very positive. You know, it's a big number um, against any team. And Torin, he, he, like we talked about pregame, what he was following up on what we've seen in practices and off-season work. And, and, uh, you know, very, uh, not, not only his shooting, but how, like, what I was impressed how quick he, how quickly he hits him off. His, his release is really quick. Um, can get it off in small spaces. Um, then I, I thought he made some nice passes too, uh, whether it was out of pick and roll or just coming off an off ball screen and, and finding, uh, uh, finding guys. So just a very good all around day for him. Coach, uh, what was it about, I guess, maybe it was the defense that allowed, I don't know how to say his name, Hedgesheimer, to get so many open looks in the pick and pop? Like, what, what happened there? You know, uh, so normally I think it is in dirt and you know, and then right so we'd probably adjust and you know, switch it or but I wanted to work on our particular defense, our base defense and, and see if we could figure it out. I don't think we ever did. So you know, I think uh, um, games like this it's it's great uh, great feedback, great film, to be able to talk through it. You know, you guys know I'm picking the pop fives, you know, they, they give everybody problems and there's a different coverage for that. Uh, like I said, didn't want to adjust and, and uh, uh, credit, credit to him, he made, made, made a lot of shots. Coach. Oh, okay. Uh, you mentioned the 40 assists. Uh, this team, there's a lot of new faces here, so how important is that to going forward for the rest of the season to, to see the ball move the, the way it did tonight? Yeah, really good. I liked our, you know, our quick decisions as, as part of our, our principles, you know, point five, you know, uh, you know, shoot it, move it, drive it, and, and uh, Guys did, guys did a really good job, and, uh, I thought, across the board. Um, but, uh, you know, we got to follow it up again. I think 40 is a big number. I'm very pleased with that. I know you had said coming in that you felt that the defense was going to be ahead of the offense. Uh, I know it's difficult to take a whole lot necessarily from this game, but are you still of that mindset from what they Okay, there's, like I said, there's things we have to work on. Giving up 44 threes, um, you know, that's that's – that's kind of not uh, our cup of tea, uh, my cup of tea. I don't, don't love that number. It's a big number. So again, uh, we have to we have to look at the film, and, and, and uh, um, I think we're we're you know, sucking too much into the paint. They were throwing out for a lot of threes. So it's some something we'll work on next next couple of days. Uh, Coach, going back to Torian for a second, he seems to have a quiet confidence about him. Seems to be very humble. Um, I think a lot of people here might not be that familiar with his game, but he seems to be wanting to kind of put his stamp on things when he gets the opportunity to play. Um, just from your, your perspective, interacting with him every day, practicing stuff like that, from a personality standpoint, is he, is he quiet? Is he sort of a rah-rah guy? Like, what's your read on his personality? Um, extremely competitive. Uh, he's been extremely focused also, um, but I wouldn't call him quiet. <laughs> he has a personality. Uh, they're, they're more talking, you know, in the locker room and, and great sense of humor. So great personality. He's got an edge to him. Um, you know, he doesn't talk a ton, but he, he's got an edge. And, uh, and uh, you know, uh, and I, we really want him to bring that to the defensive end. Like I keep, I keep saying, I'm not so much worried about the the offense. I think I think he'll he'll be fine there. We we need him to defend. Uh, and I thought he was good tonight. I thought, I was, thought he was good all around. What kind of role do you see for Nawaba going forward, and what kind of impact can he make? What do you call it? Swiss Army, Swiss Army knife. You know, he's he's gonna have to plug holes, fill holes, play four, play three. You know, play two. Uh, sometimes guard, guard, guard their their best player. Uh, great, great utility guy. Uh, physicality, toughness. Uh, yeah, really, uh, really been pleased with him. Also, great pickup. In Joe's case, was that just a matter? Was that just a nod to how many minutes he's already put in Team USA? Yeah, so, you know, 40 days. I think it was on a you know away with Team USA. We just think it's the, uh, collectively think it's, it's the best thing. Of course, he wanted to play, you know. Uh, but uh, you know, I think it's it's, it's best. But uh, I expect them 
expect them to play in China, though. I, I think uh, you know, he, he'll, he'll might attack me if, if, if I say you're not playing again. So. Yeah, with, uh, with Claxton, I mean, I know obviously the game was utterly out of control at that point, but I'm 13 with you, in like eight minutes. I'm with you. I, I, you know, I get excited, you know, a lot, but uh, he's, he's got something. He's dynamic. He's fast. I was really impressed with his IQ. You know, some of those switches we were talking about with their big guys, he figured it out and then uh, uh, made a nice pass with his right hand. That's one of the things that impressed us in college, how good a passer he was, his IQ. Um, he gets, you know, that his shot down, he, he's going to be uh, uh, he's gonna be a pretty good player in this league. Our coach, oh, I know, you guys know, uh, go to the China, obviously, two games with Lakers. Can you give us uh, updates with if the Kyrie going to play in the next two games and also with the KC yes. Conference team? Yes, the plan is for him to play in China, so he will, he will play. And is Kevin going to come in with the team? Is Kevin is not, not coming. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.